tired of me on the bike yet. <laughs> I know this is not content that you guys actually come here often for, but um, it'll be a little bit more of a vloggy kind of video today. I have been, uh, I've been kind of going through a lot of changes and just how I kind of want to do my channel from here on out. And I may not be doing this channel. Um, sorry, not to sound alarmist. This is not the end of my channel. That's not what this video is about. I've taken a big interest in things outside of motorcycling, which things I've always been interested in. It's just, I'm sort of getting into like, you know, I, I have my nerdy side to these videos. So it's like, I'm trying to satiate my nerdy side with uh, my YouTuber creation um, words. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to do something new with my channel. And either it's gonna be this channel or another channel to satiate that. I wanna do something else YouTube related where it's either educational or fun or funny and uh, I don't know, that's gonna be hard because I'm not fucking funny at all. <laughs> something entertaining that people wanna watch. And I'm thinking something along the lines of education or comedy, not comedy, that's, that's, that's just dirty, I can't call it that, but something along the lines of entertaining. That's kind of what I'm going for here. For those of you who've only followed me for a little bit, so I'm not, I'm not uh, motorcycle-centric. There's just things that limit me as a creator at my current place on my channel right now that I don't want to be limited by, and I have other interests. So, like I said, I think I'm going to expand at some point, and uh, might as well spit it out. So I'm getting into like retro gaming quite a bit, trying to just reclaim my childhood. Like a uh, nostalgia has been really strong with me for uh, for quite a while now. My first video game console was like Sega Genesis and and all that, and uh, I'm trying to reclaim that here. So um, let me show you what I've accumulated over the past few weeks of thrifting and eBaying and all that. Take a look. So the first thing we have here is something I'm sure all of you will recognize. It is a classic NES. This I actually got for basically free, but I felt too bad not paying for it for my buddy. So this is a uh, NES. I have two more of these that he gave me, along with a bunch of other carts. Let's just say these things aren't in the best condition quite yet. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot that needs to get done with these. Their video outputs are just not working. They'll freeze cards. I have a strong suspicion that it could just be the issue in the back with the classic front loader systems having the pins that get bent. Anyways, Nintendo is kind of on the last of my docket right now. I would love to get this thing up and running soon, but alas, the actual video outputs of the old NES are not really the greatest. Basically, you get an RF adapter and composite at best. Anyway, this was never a huge part of my childhood, so I'm not going to be focusing too much on it because of all the work that it needs. Like I said, it's not part of my whole big nostalgia trip here recently. So this, this is something I have no nostalgia over hardware-wise, but I do have nostalgia over software-wise. So I had a Gen 2 model Genesis. This is a Model 1. It's got stereo audio out the headphone ports, but you know, that can be easily solved to bring you stereo all around. I'm going to be restoring these things. I'm really excited because I have a cable for this on the way that's gonna allow me to get some real good output. Uh, probably some of the best output you'll be able to find. So, um, yeah, a lot of work to do with these. I've got to do some major cleaning on these, both on the aesthetics as well as the internals. They're going to be fun. I don't, like I said, I don't think I'll do this on my channel. I may eventually start another channel or, you know, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just create a separate area of this channel. I know this is a heavily motorcycle related channel and moto vlogging, but, you know, this is kind of a personal thing for me. It's, uh, if you guys are watching for me, that's awesome. You get to see some of my interests. And of course we have something not so retro to me, but that's just because I'm old. <laughs> this is, uh, something I spent a lot of time on and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there did too. I found this for five bucks. Oh, sorry, no. I found this for five bucks. The only problem is its disc tray likes to get stuck and I heard you can just replace the belt inside that. Anyways, if you couldn't tell from now, I'm actually a huge kind of IT repair kind of guy, so I looked at this and I said, wow, the sticker on the front tells me this didn't see a hell of a lot of use, so maybe, just maybe, it's gonna be fun to work on and fun to play and not too hard to get back up and running. But yeah, like, look at what I can find thrifting, man. This doesn't actually have the original hookup cable so that I can use it right away, but that's easily fixed. Three bucks for this. I was a huge fan of the original Duke controller just because I got huge hands. This is, everyone found this awkward back in the day. I absolutely loved it. I was sad that they took it away. Anyway, that's an extension cord for uh, 
Oh, well, that's actually for the Genesis, but you get the point. I've got some great stuff here building a cheap retro gaming setup. So far, I mean, this is basically nothing invested. The most expensive thing here um, was pretty much the shipping on this, so yeah, I'm excited. Apparently the Gen 1s get the best video output, but of course, only the biggest retro gaming nerds are going to know that the only way you can get the best output on a retro gaming setup is with one of these. And this is not just a CRT. This is a professional video monitor by JVC. This is something that got used a lot in professional video applications, like a lot of medical places or news crews or TV stations would use these a lot because while being CRT for the time, they actually put out quite a sharp image that you just could and get with consumer grade TV sets. So I'm really excited to get this working. I, I just bought this in Afton, Virginia a little while ago. It's only 200 bucks. Well, actually it's 225, but not a bad price. Of course, I could have thrifted it a lot easier, but they're very hard to come by, so. Now the problem is, you see here, what in the world would you do with inputs like these? I mean, these are just typical RCAs, but these are called BNCs. The only thing I'd ever used with these before were oscilloscope pokers, whatever you call them. You know, I'm real expert on tech here, believe me. But uh, yeah, you can get sort of expensive retro gaming cables that will allow you to connect the RGB outputs from this to this, and you just get a way better image. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to get too much into it now. I don't want to get too nerdy on some of y'all. I know you're not here for, for anything other than motor vlogging or motorcycles or Indian motorcycles specifically, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to say where I'm at, I'm kind of evolving in my YouTube content creator. Yeah, I hate using those words. Ugh. If I'm anything, I'm at least humble. But I want to do something else. I want to do something with the motorcycle and something else that I enjoy. Just have those two things, maybe in one place that'd be awesome, but I kind of feel like the uh, the target audience there is a little bit niche. Anyways guys, that's where my head's at. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm, um, I want to get on my bike and go home. And I would say at some point this weekend I'm going to go thrifting again, because man, I've found out just how fun that can be. But uh, I actually have a little bit of a surprise video for you guys next week. Don't worry, it's nothing like this related or anything like that. It's uh, motorcycle related. It's just maybe something you would not expect. At least maybe not for me. Not right now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you uh, sticking with me this far. I know it's kind of a little bit of a tangent video and it's not too motorcycle related. But yeah, like I said, if you're here for me, appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Take care. Peace.